This is the video answer for exercise 3 of Project Kraken. In this exercise, Solucell wants to change the management server uh, from CPM01 to CPM02. So at the moment, it's already all pre-configured in terms of uh, uh, server infrastructure. We have both servers reporting to a database that's hosted on CPM01. So what we need to do in this exercise is to work with a configuration setting, which is called management server list. So let's go and get started. We go to the policy view. We're going to expand policy component and look at management server list. So we can see we have a management server list for Solucell. So I'm going to copy this one and paste to create a new list. Like this, we have most of settings already applied. Okay. So what we need to do is put new. Uh, we can see here we already have the IP address and the different name, the possible name for our CPM01. So what we need to do is add a new priority, which will move up. So it is the first priority, and then the existing CPM01 becomes second priority. Okay. So now we need to actually enter the server IP address for CPM02. So we're going to do add new server. Put the IP address. So 10.10.2.12. We're going to repeat the same for the short name and then the long name with um, the domain. Okay. Okay, so now this setting is created, but it's not yet applied. As you can see here in the count, we have zero location or group that is using this uh, this configuration. So let's move to the client view. We're going to the default group on the communication. And now we're going to change to have uh, the new Solucell management server list. So like this, we're playing these settings. If you remember, we have the 30 minute here. So we'll have to force on the client to get a hard bit so that they see that there's an update uh, in terms of communication. Okay, so now the settings is uh, applied. We will go in turn to each of the client and I will show you how to force a heartbeat. So we're going to the first client, WC, WS01. We go right click, update policy, and this force the heartbeat. So once we have this done, we can open the client. We're going to click on help, troubleshoot. And then you can see that we have the 10.10.2.12. 10 okay. So now I'm connecting to WCWS02 and I'm going to do the same uh, thing to update the communication to get the new policy. So a different way, rather than right clicking here, I can open the client and go to troubleshooting. And then go policy update. And now we see we have also 10.10.2.12. And we're going to finish to do the third uh, client. And click update so that we are reporting to 10.10.2.12. Now that we have made our migration from server one to server two, we need to look into the reporting to know, to have a consolidated view to know if we didn't leave any client behind. Okay. So on CPM01, I'm going to the monitor view. I click on log. I'm going to computer status. And then I can go here in the listing by expanding and looking which server. So I'm just going to check if I have CPM02 and view log. So like this, I can see if I have all my clients reporting here. So I can see I have three clients, but I don't have the Linux machine. The Linux machine will actually get the update when we have the heartbeat happening in, in 30 minutes and then it will appear. So that just shows you here by running the report, uh, you can filter and know exactly per server how many clients you have connected and, and actively manage reporting to the machine. So this concludes exercise three of Project Kraken.